Okay, tonight I am creating a late night video after curling. So, you got to see my curling pants. Um, we lost, that's the bad news. So, good news is today's lesson is how to, or using negative exponents and reciprocals. And the great thing about today's lesson, there's only one thing we really work with that's different today. So there's only one learning intention. You need to be able to evaluate negative exponents. So when I have, instead of 3 squared, it might be 3 to the power of negative 2. Now what does that negative exponent do? That's what we're working on. Okay, so we're looking at what to do with negative exponents. So when x, so here's an example of x and x, they both have an exponent. One has an exponent n, the other has exponent negative n. So when this x is a non-zero number, meaning it will not work for zero, and n is rational. Rational means that it's either a fraction or it is a decimal that stops or repeats. Then x to the negative n is the reciprocal of x to the n. So the only difference here is a negative, and here it's positive, but it will be the reciprocal of each other. So maybe we need to take a look at what reciprocal means first. So a reciprocal is a number with its numerator and denominator flipped. So the reciprocal of two-thirds, numerator, denominator, its reciprocal is 3 over 2. They flipped. 3. Now, it doesn't look like it's a fraction, but any number is a fraction if you put it over 1. So the reciprocal of 3 is 1 third. The reciprocal of 1 ninth, flip it. 9 over 1 is 9. So that's how you deal with reciprocals. Now the reason it has to be a non-zero number is if we took the reciprocal of 0, okay, 0 divided by 2 is just 0, but if we took the reciprocal of that, the problem is the reason this cannot be 0, why we don't like a 0 up here, is you may never divide by 0. That's maybe the number one rule of math can never, ever, ever divide by zero. And when we take zero and try to do its reciprocal, that's what you're trying to do, so it's not allowed. Okay, so now you know how the reciprocal works. What we'll do is we'll take a look at how this works in action. Okay, so I'm now gonna show you how this works. Whenever you have a negative exponent, you need to deal with that first. So the negative exponent makes you take the reciprocal. So here we have two to the power of negative three. Well, that negative I need to deal with that first. This is 1 half cubed. Okay, So 2 is 2 over 1. The reciprocal of 2 over 1 is 1 over 2. So the negative flipped it, and now it's cubed. 1 cubed is 1. 2 cubed, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So my answer is 1 eighth. Now the next one. I have a negative exponent, so I flip the inside. The negative doesn't matter. I'm really quickly over here, if I did this, or this, or this, these all mean negative one half. It does not matter if the negative is on top, in front, on the bottom, they all mean negative a half. So where the negative goes here doesn't really matter. It's negative 2 thirds, reciprocal is negative 3 over 2, and now the 2 is positive. So by going from a negative exponent to a positive exponent, all it does, the only thing it does, and you have to do it right away, is flips the, the, uh, the number we're dealing with inside. Now square it. Negative squared is going to be positive. 3 squared is 9. 2 squared is 4. So my answer is 9 over 4. Next one, 0.2 to the power of negative 5. When it's dealing with decimals, just go ahead and punch it in your calculator. Um, 0.2 to the power of negative 5 on my calculator, I would go 0 0.2. My power button looks like that. Some of your power buttons may also just be a hat. So one or the other. And then make sure you put negative 5. And your answer should be 3,125. Go ahead, try your calculator. If you're not getting that, then you're doing something wrong. Um, try something else or come see me for help. Another one, 27 to the power of negative 2 thirds. There's a negative there. I must deal with it right away. So it flips 
what I'm working with. So I have 1 over 27 to the power of 2 thirds. Now, 1 to the power of anything is just 1, so it stays. But that 27 is to the power of 2 thirds. And now I'm hoping you remember last day, or in our last lesson, we learned how to deal with fractional exponents. Boots and hats, or the tree method, or um, you could just memorize it, and the last technique was the number and denominator goes into notch. So I'm going to do some boots and hats here. So when I have a fractional exponent, I need a root, because a fractional exponent makes root. The bottom is my boots. They get left at the door. The hat goes up on the rack. So always do root first. Cube root of 27 is 3, so I get 1 over 3 squared. Okay, because cube root of 27 is 3, there's still that squared. 3 squared is 9, so I got 1 over 9. Okay, and our last one, so you can see it one more time. Negative exponent. I flip what's inside. So I flipped it. Now my 3 over 2 must affect everything inside the bracket. And I'm just going to go right to my boots and hats right away. If this is a fractional exponent, this has a fractional exponent, they are both going to have roots. They are the 2's on the bottom, so they're square roots. We don't need that 2 there, but I'm putting it there. And up, our hat goes up on the rack. And again, Use the roots first, because 16 cubed is a big number. Square root of 16 is a small number. The square root of 16 is 4. The square root of 9 is 3. Now, 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. There is my completed answer. So. What you're working with today is a bunch of the things you've already started through this chapter, along with one new thing, and that is a negative exponent. All a negative exponent does is it flips the 2 over 3 to a 3 over 2. It flips it. Your assignment is going to be page 233, questions 6 to 10, and question 13. And I want you to do all of them today. I guess, well, if you're getting AC and E, that's fine. Um, but if it's not going quickly, it means you need some more practice. This should get really quick, and then all of them won't seem like a lot. Um, if it's going slowly, that extra practice will help you get to a point where you can do them quicker. Okay? Um, stay classy, math class.